I'm raising the flap using cutting mode here. In between I'm using the spray mode which is also called the fulgration mode. Whenever I see a vessel I use the spray mode. Okay, you see I am raising the flap just up to this middle using the cutting current. If I use the quark current all through it will be faster but the disadvantage will be that I will not have this clear view and then be just because the marginal mandibular nerve is in question here so I would rather like to go more carefully using cutting current had there been stru no, uh, no structure of consequence here then I might have used the quark current this is what I am you see how I am going to use the quark current to take the care of this little vessel I am keeping it at a distance I am not touching I am just spraying fire ok ok we are proceeding with the same thing we are going towards the angle of the mandible the lower part of the mandible and we expect the facial the marginal mandible to somewhere here we are not trying to present look for it because we are just hugging the um, uh, the platysma so we are not likely to injure it this cutting current works like a sharp knife on which I don't have to put any pressure and I am not even touching the tissues and the tissues are opening up just because the assistant is pulling his um, skin hook so well that it is just the traction which is working and here I have been able to uh, a node here wherever it bleeds a little bit I spray um, a spark and the bleeding stops okay you see now we are raising the lower flap same way just under the platysma I'm using again the cutting current here and you can see this is the platysma and I use my finger a little bit a little bit of finger you see this is the use of the cautery and this is the use of the finger and diathermy being used to cut a little bit and then the finger is being used to you see this way You see, this is the platysma, this is the platysma, and the traction is making the areola tissue so prominent here. You see? Now, now, see the effect of, on the tissues with the quark current. I am using quark current now. See, you can see that there is no charring, I am definitely ensuring. And this is a little faster than the in cutting. And the uh, advantage is it's faster, and the coagulation is better. The disadvantage is that wherever I require to see something important, I cannot use this and the another advantage of this current is that whenever I am in the vicinity of a of a large vessel then it's always safer than a cutting which is a very sharp knife and I can always make a hole in, uh, in I'll show you when I am when we're dealing with the IJV that this current is going to be used there you see I am using this now coagulating current and my fingers can you see that see? we have reached the clavicle almost bloodlessly we have been able to reach the clavicle that's one of the supraclavic nerves which I'm dividing again uh, appreciate that the assistant is making sure that wherever I touch the diathermy tip it is under traction the whole job is done being done by traction and counter traction that's the sternomastoid clavicular head and this flap has been raised because we've reached the clavicle this is the clavicle fine okay okay i want to demonstrate to you that the sternomastoid because it is taking insertion in the skin so how do we use the diathermy current to cut this muscle unless we cut this muscle we can't raise this flap watch it i'm using the the spray mode see i'm using the spray mode to cut this muscle okay okay you see cutting using the cutting current strokes like i demonstrated i've been able to demonstrate the this is the transverse spiral vessels okay this is a the phrenic is going to be here somewhere not yet exposed that's the trapezius edge okay these are the carpet muscles and that way we are progressing okay see my index finger left index finger is on the low part of the mandible and these are the mm, facial vessels which I can palpate. Alright, 
I have marked them with a marker pen. And if uh, the, uh, you know, the 50% of times, more than 50% of times, it's about in a, within 2.5 centimeters of the uh, low part of the mandible, the marginal mandible and nerve. So I have marked this root here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go significantly lower down here, the Hayes Martin way, open this fascia and then uh, raise this fascia along with the nerve and dissect these nodes out. You will see how we do it. Okay. We'll pick it up like this and keep opening it with these kind of movements of the quartry. And all along we are staying quite well below the, the line which we expect the marginal mandibular to be in. This is how we are opening it. You see, these are the facial vessels. And I have been able to bear them using the cutting current without any other instrument. You can see, this is how we go ahead. And this is, you know, this is the facial vessels, right? And I am going to pick it up on a mister or a artery faucet. And then take Mister's this picture. flap up like the Hayes Martin way so that the facial nerve, marginal mandible is preserved. You see, I'm dividing the uh, sternomastoid now using the quag mode, the fulguration mode, the spray mode. See how I'm using it? How tissues are opening up by traction. There's no blackening. If there's any blackening, then we should not blame the cautery because then definitely there will be a effect on the healing. This is the place where I'm going to expose the eyes heavy with the cautery only, with the diathermy only. You see? Mm. These are the carpet muscles. Uh, and you see that's the mm, accessory nerve which has got exposed. Without the use of any other instrument, this is the accessory nerve which has got exposed. And this is likely to be the... Mm, the I'll just show you. See how different tissues cut differently with the currents. It's the, it's the mode, it's the power, as well as the different tissues and the way we use the mm, uh, electrode that decides how the tissue is going to behave. This is not a fat tissue in the submental triangle. I'm pulling it and I'm using the coag current the, in the spray mode. See how it cuts a little differently from the other tissues. The smoke is being sucked by the sucker being kept closed. Close, close, better keep the sucker closed so that the smoke, which is toxic to all of us, is and it also mm, affects visibility. So this should be simultaneously sucked. You know? There are in, mm, machines these days available which have got the suction tip by the side of the cutting tip. These are the nodes which we've picked up from the submental triangle. This is the other submental diagastric. This is this diagastric. Okay, this is the myelohyoid. Here I'm going to bear the mm, diagastric. Uh, uh, you see how mm, it's being used diaphragm? You see, mm, not only the Mm, current, but this is being used to do dissection also like this. Okay, it's being used to do dissection. Now this is a vessel here. I've, I've I've pushed it away. Can you see? I pushed it away. Did you? So mm, see, that's a vessel here. Diagastic. This is the diagastic tendon, and I'm uh, you know pulling the the submandibular gland out. Let's see what is bleeding and you see how we stop this bleeding. This is bleeding, I'll spray the fire a little bit, that's about it. Okay? I don't have to catch it and then touch it. This is not recommended. What is recommended is spray a little fire here. A little finesse was required, so I started using the, mm, the cutting current. Right? Okay, that's the, uh, you see, that's the duct. Okay, and this is the, the lingual nerve. Can you focus here? This is the lingual nerve. And that's the duct. Okay. And this is the ganglion. 
anything how I'm using the cutting current to um, pull it out and I'm going to divide the um, I have divided the duct right the moment I divide the duct then the gland starts coming out I'm using the unswitched cautery quite a lot to pull things out okay like this okay and now uh, that was the duct, uh, that was the legal uh, nerve, so I'll divide this ganglion here like this. Divided the sternum and the clavicular heads of the sternomastoid using the quark currents quite cutlessly. And now that's the um, uh, digastic, I'll divide it like that. I'm sorry, the Omohaya. Okay. okay, this is the way it's been used. And now. Okay, that's the IJV and you will see how we have divided the fascia on top of the IJV using the quark current, okay? Like that. Okay. So IJVs. Alright. Could you see them? Alright. Mm -hmm. Can you make out that we didn't use any other instrument but our same tooth forceps for circumferentially freeing the exactly the the vein, you know? And we have come out on the other side, okay? So right? And we're gonna catch it. Come, give me a mister please. You see that's the Vegas now. That's the carotid and with me is the IJV. This is how I'm dissecting with the tip and this is how I'm proceeding. Okay. is covered so the brachial plexus is covered the phrenic nerve is covered okay the artery is bare the level 4 there is nothing here all the tissue has been removed here and similarly if we look at here we've gone right up and there is nothing at the level 2 this is the digastric triangle and the um, muscle this is the tendon submandibular triangle is clear the prefacial node is left behind whenever we are trying to save the marginal mandible the Hayes Martin way. Now we are debating should this node be removed. Actually it is rarely ever if involved in malignancy. Prefacial node is not a part of the brain. This is a, um, about a T3 lesion. Uh, fortunately uh, it's you know um, verrucous and uh, not infiltrative. So we are being able to save significant amount of tongue. Although it was reaching the midline, but I'll not take a two centimeters margin, which you normally take. We'll take about a centimeter margin. See what I've done with the diathermy. I've increased the cutting current to about um, 70%, and I've increased the um, uh, coagulating current also, spray mode, to about 70%. And I'll be able to, I'll show you, I'll be able to get almost a, um, you know, clean feel, and um, uh, uh, be able to display the vessels also while we are um, uh, cutting. See? This is how it's coming off. This is how the spray mode is working. 